well, I'll just say, I don't know if this is true or not, but it, it, it touches me. So I'll share it in that context. I think it was Eliade who wrote about shamanism and historical cultures who said, in pre-agricultural human society, their orientation toward how to have a good life was all about connection from whatever, you know, his, his studies about whatever your religious or, you know, indigenous spiritual practice was. It's about getting connected to the land, to this breath, to where you are. And post-agriculturally, it became about improvement and improving the body, improving your home, improving your land, whatever. And I remember when I first heard that, feeling so stunned to realize what a, what a striving that can feel like when we're continually in trying to improve ourselves, um, how, how we can be so disconnected from presence. And one of the paradoxical things in Feldenkrais, I think, is whether through hands-on lessons or movement practice, it comes through connection. It's not trying to fix ourselves or objectify the body. It's really about, can I be more connected with feeling the ground, with feeling my back and my breath and my lower belly right in this moment? And the profundity of returning to connection and presence 